It's July, 1938, and the national state of Norway is in the midst of a civil war after Quisling's coup of the nation. Only, this civil war was about to become a whole lot more than a proxy war for France and Germany. The disagreements between the French and the Nazis became hostile ever since the fascist government gained overwhelming support from the Germans and pushed back the democratic forces. And then tensions boiled over into all-out war with the new Sudeten crisis and France had no option but to declare war in support of the Czechs. Soon after, the Nordic Defence Council was formed as a bloc to resist against the Axis. The world did not watch. Others formed or joined defensive alliances with only one faction coming out on top. Either the Axis, the Nordic Defence Council, the Comintern or the Allies. Hi, I'm Colonel Cam, and this is 10 Years as Fascist Norway in Hearts of Iron 4. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to 10 Years as Fascist Norway. Now, very quickly, before we get into the video, please like and subscribe. I've put a lot of time and effort into these videos, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys did, in fact, like and subscribe. Other than that, sit back, grab a snack, a drink, and a comfy chair, and enjoy 10 Years as Fascist Norway. The stumbling storting. We saw a light at the end of the tunnel of political instability, but it is now flickering towards further chaos. Despite the best efforts of our current leader, the Storting's infighting is bringing it ever closer to chaos. 20% stability and democracy sport goes down. Actually, democracy sport, that's fine, but 20% stability, man, really? Yep, so this game, we're gonna ally with Germany and hopefully take on the entire world. I don't know if it's gonna work, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Meanwhile, the enemies of the people sharpen their knives to feast on the strife, growing until Norway is consumed by the flames of war. How fast will our fall be? Wow. That was pretty cool. 20% stability, ooh, there it is. Okay, now, I think it is time to lurk in the shadows, right? We get fascism support, political power, you guys can read that, and we get uh, decisions where we can build support in Norway. Lee, hang on, hang on, hang on, we got some good advisors here. I was gonna say we could do the decisions now, look at all this, we can build support. Oh, it costs convoys? Why does it cost convoys? That, make, that makes no sense. But I'm thinking if we get the fascist guy, I mean, that builds support. He will just build support for me already. War penalty, but we lose 10% stability. You know what? I don't care. At this lo at this point, I don't care. We can get stability from other advisors, so. Viduk, uh, no, what am I saying? Vidkun Quisling. Oh, this is the guy that could be our leader. Yes, let's get him. So apparently, Lev Trotsky is in our country. I didn't even know what was going on here. Just have a look. I almost clicked, I literally, I was clicking this and I almost clicked like the bottom one, I didn't even realize. Fascist harass Lev Trotsky. Wait, is that supposed to be Trotsky, but it's IJ? I don't think so, no way. Yes, it is. I was so confused at this point. I was like, is this Trotsky? Uh, it's IJ, maybe it's not. It's gotta be a coincidence, right? But no, it is, okay? Trotsky. We can jail him? Well, we are going fascist. General crackdown on dissent, he must be kept away from we're putting him in jail. His past is all the evidence we need. Jail him. <laughs> we just jail. <laughs> we just put him in jail. That's probably he's probably safer from Stalin now though. Other uh, he has better accommodation than he had in Siberia. He had to be stopped, right? So we got Trotsky in our in our prisons right now. That's crazy, right? Industrial support is done. Okay, you no, know should we start getting, uh, <laughs> Should we do the armor cars? No, no, not yet. Not yet. It's not time for that. We're doing artillery. And I'm not giving them a dude. I put one more on guns. Oh, we need nine. We're, I think it's all for uh, this stuff, though, so it's okay. We can't actually go down, like, our industry tree until we get rid of the hard 30s. How do we get rid of... Where's the, the hard... Oh, hard 30s. Well, how do we get rid of it? And independent Norway will be removed if Norway... Oh, no, we don't have that. Well, how do we get rid of the hard 30s? Are there decisions? Does it just go away on its own? Hang on, let me check. No? <laughs> well, I've got no idea then. All right, we'll just chill with the hard 30s then. We could ask for foreign support. Um, oh, this is all pretty good. Look at this one. Change of popularity of fascism goes down, but then we have another political advisor which gives construction speed and then fascism support. I will take this man. This is a man I want to have in my cabinet. All right. Yes, get this man in office in my parliament or whatever. That, well, it won't really. It will it be a parliament, whatever it is. Anyway, Germany is going to help us with something uh, in a sec. You're going to see. Oh, the German Reich will help us. 
representatives from Germany have contacted us and assured that, the Germ that Germany will provide the support we need in seizing control of the government. This might uh, allow us to come from the shadows and grab power in Norway. Perfect. It's time. Reduced by 15 days. Well, thank you. Thank you, Führer. Right? I'm going to call you Führer, not by your other name. <laughs> All right, your name's Führer. Obvious answer would be one of the greatest military powers of Europe, but perhaps finding a provider closer to home can have its long-term benefits. So Sweden, the USSR, or Germany? We're going to have to go Germany. All right? German tanks are promising. Oh, don't you worry. They're, they're very promising. I, I, yep, I can promise you that they're promising, right? 12%. Add new technology into war light tank development. 300 units of German light tank is added to the national stockpile. Oh, see, I knew it. I was like, oh, maybe I won't buy, I won't get into war tanks because it might just be bypassed. But now, look at this. Where, where are the, where are the tanks? Where are the tanks? Wait, what is our, what is our thing? Oh, they're, they're actually half decent as well. Okay, so have we got the tanks for this? Tanks, 180. 180 plus 180 is like or just over 300, so it's fine. So uh, 1937, the year of uh, lots of civil wars, as always in every non-historical Hearts 5 4 game. 1937 is synonymous with civil wars, so have, have a look at some right now. Whoa, we got an Italian civil war. Okay, what's that, like communist? Communist Italy? It is, but they're never going to get past that, uh, that gap there, so... No, nah, that's going to be a never-ending, never-ending war. Okay, good. Oh, peasant uprising. Yes. The year of civil wars, isn't it? A lot of civil wars going on. And by now, it was time to do a focus that gave the Germans an option to invade us. Yep, we just invited them to invade, invade our country. Crazy stuff, man. Go down. Nas Journal Samling. All right, for years now, the leading fascist party in Norway has been sidelined by the mainstream center of the, and left-wing parties. Well, that ends now. We must rally behind its leader, Quisling, our capable and charismatic leader to bring about a truly Norwegian fascist regime. There we go, 10% war support, lose 5% stability, and then we get a, a person who gives us 20% stability. Okay, and then we get a invite the German Reich to invade Norway. Huh? What are you talking about? wants to help us invade their country what is going on man what do you mean help invade norway i don't want to be <laughs> i don't want to get invaded but like, that's kind of okay whatever we'll see what happens obviously i haven't done this focus tree before so we'll see we'll see yes this part of the focus tree is a bit a bit strange it, it took a quite a quite a few tries to get it quite right um to be able to get this to work but i did it so it's fine north sea empire what do we need for north sea empire danish states english states and a couple of random places like oh it's down here these these places ah that is certainly possible okie dokie maybe we'll do that um uh, i don't know though Empower. Look at this. We got a bunch of Norwegian units. We have to we, to do this. We have to. Uh, Germany has to be at war with us. So wait, do we have to wait until like these guys are go down their like normal, their normal thingy? I don't know. I'm a bit confused. Fascist Latvia. Interesting. Friend. Potential friend. Maybe. What, what's the benefit for getting like three, three, uh, three dots? You know, I want three dots in Oslo. Good. We can now do this. We can invite Germany to invade Norway. Uh, maybe we should... Well, so what happens? Kingdom of Norway wants us to invade their country. They, uh, have, they do like us a little bit. You know, they, they don't hate us. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? We, I think we get the green dots here. And then we... Oh, but we, oh, I don't want to wait that long, man. What is all this green dot stuff? Oh, we've empowered some guys. Cool. Oh, we could do this now. Mass assault could be an option because we need manpower. Grand battle plan is looking like the move, though. And then we go, what, assault? But then... Oh, superior firepower is good. We're not doing mobile warfare. That, that's not happening. Unless we go down to do desperate defense and get some manpower that way. But this is all just what? Mobile infantry stuff? Like, bruh. 
oh my gosh, can I make a decision already? I mean, why was I putting so much thought into this doctrine? I mean, it is kind of a, a tough decision because I have to decide between manpower and actual, like, good doctrine stuff, like mass assault with the manpower, but then nothing else is that good, or any, or superior firepower because then we get lots of artillery, like, benefits and soft attack and stuff because we do lack manpower. I don't know. This was, like, I put more thought into this than my, like, es essays at uni or whatever. All right, I'm creating a save game, and then we're doing it. But going well because that's what it's, that's what's happening right now we're going it's going well so far things aren't messing up all right here we go okay we're gonna press the button and if things go go crazy then it's, it's a bad idea all right we've invited them we've invited you germany they have rejected us uh-oh thank god i made that save game so let's try that again shall we Now, I kept having this issue where uh, this guy, my leader, was starting, or not my leader, but my future leader was beginning a civil war. Like, I was forced into a civil war before Germany could invade me. So everything was, like, messed up, and then I ended up just capitulating. So I had to give this, like, quite a few goes, and you'll see, I'm not, I'm not very happy. All right, this is my third attempt at playing 1938. I don't know what's happening here. So what happens is these guys are starting a civil war, but I don't want a civil war to start. And then when I press this button, Germany rejects us. So, uh, I don't really know how to go about it. Latvia just joined the Axis. That did not happen in the last 1938 game. What in the world? That, that did not happen. All right, now we got Latvia joining the Axis. That's a bit weird, but okay. Having been refused their referendum, almost to Tokyo. I, this is what I had before, and then we click this, and then that bypassed. I don't want to bypass it. So what happens if I press the button now? All right, they got 100%. What if I press the button, invite Germany to invade Norway before we run out of time on this decision? We got 12 days. Hopefully they say yes. Oh! Is that good? Did I do good? So now Germany is at war with us. Why do we have Germany at war with us? And then we need to do this afterwards? I'm so scared I'm gonna mess it up. Why is this so difficult? Okay, 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 I'm canceling this. We're canceling that. We're going straight to this one. And I'm ignoring this. This did, didn't, doesn't happen, all right? This takes seven days. This event has 11 days. We're, we're fine. Anyway, fascism, 30% up. Add contested leadership. Okay, that's terrible. But then, uh, whoa. There's some good stuff here. We'll start a civil war. NS becomes ruling party. 60, what is, revolt a country. Revolt a country goes insane. And then we get a bunch of uh, units. All right, we're doing this one. Yeah, I finally got it to work. I just had to ignore that Civil War event. Just didn't exist. Doesn't happen. Nope. <laughs> Not a thing. All right. Just ignore it. That's that's the plan. Just keep ignoring it. Anyway, just focus on the video. Okay, this does nothing. Perfect. All right. And we got our little secret. Look at our little, little secret dudes that aren't tanks, but for some reason they're... Uh... They're, design, they're disguised as, as tank divisions. I, I don't know about that, but cool. Very good. Okay, now. There's a lot of sorting out to do here. So we're going to chuck them all on a front line. And we're going to chuck them, chuck them like that. Perfect, perfect. I was just checking. Oh, we have an invitation to the Axis. I will accept that. Thank you. All right. Axis Norway. Here we come. Except this civil war would not end in a normal way. As you probably saw in the trailer, the intro to this video, <laughs> this blows up into a full global war very soon. You're about to see. 1938 goes red hot. Yeah. Oh, we got the military takeover. Brilliant. And we got the two units that did the military takeover. Chilling here. Okay, we got Mountaineers. That's pretty good. It's the Sudeten Crisis. Oh, and these guys are guaranteed by France, and that's it. There we go. Germany's declared war on Czech, the Czech Republic, meaning that we're going to be at war with them. Oh, we've already got 74% war support. That's pretty good. Um, okay. G wait. These guys in the, made the Nordic co what the Nordic cooperation alliance between with with Germany sorry Germany at war like, with that faction which is France and Denmark soon to be Czechoslovakia uh, that's interesting Germany should be able to steamroll Denmark pretty quickly here Czechoslovak Republic joined the alliance yeah okay draw call to arms yeah we'll go to war. We're currently in the middle of a civil war, though, so get out of that. 
Yeah. yeah, so getting to Denmark and Czechoslovakia was the easy, easy part, especially because Hungary decided to join the Axis as well and we could just invade through Slovakia. However, France was a different in, in, in issue. Getting to France would not happen for a very long time, and it's quite a few years until France capitulates. Wait, well, that's, I just spoiled the thing! I just spoiled the- Well, man, that's bad. Come on, Germany. Are they going to declare we're in the Polish People's Republic? Are we going to be absolutely screwed over here? Declared war. Whoa, 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 whoa. Act- Oh! Latvia, you better beat Estonia, man. Things could get out of hand really quickly. Okay, so we're at war with France, Czechoslovakia, Denmark, and Estonia. Let's... Things are getting out of hand, man. I don't know if I'm the, the biggest fan of this right now, right? It's kind of scary. I mean, yeah, at any moment, the common turn could just jump in the war at any point, or Britain could just guarantee someone, and then it's over. It's literally over for us. But fortunately, Latvia actually made a very smart move there, because they weren't, none of them were Soviet puppets, which is really fortunate. I don't know why, how they weren't, none of the Baltics were. So they created the Livonian state very early on, when they got all cores and stuff. So it was very good. I think we, wait, that, yeah, I'll oh, get some units. That's a, that's a good idea. Oh, Germany invades Lithuania through here as well. That's a good, that's a good point. Alright, let's take Copenhagen. Is that how it's spelled in Danish? Co Copenhagen? <laughs> Kingdom of Hungary joined the Axis. My man. My G. Nicholas Horthy. Join the Axis. That's that's it for Czechoslovakia. They're done for. They can't handle that. We know that they can't handle. They can't handle the... the oh, we just got Copenhagen. Very good. Denmark just capitulated. Alright, these guys. No, it was these guys. Can, uh, instead of going there, that's being dealt with. We're getting these guys to... What are we thinking? Going into Czechoslovakia? Maybe helping out here? In Estonia? I think we just leave these... We put these, uh... Put these guys in Oslo. Ah, uh, we take advantage of it. Look at this. Boom, we could just go straight into Talon. Tanalan. Tal... Ta ta some... Oh, look at this. Already. Lithuania capitulated. Estonia will follow soon. Oh, this is such a quick war. Things just went crazy all of a sudden. And we're, and it's going really well for us. It's just France is going to be an issue, hey. Mmm. France. There it is. Estonia capitulated. Brilliant. Alright, well done, uh, Latvia. They're doing well. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get these guys down to... Czechoslovakia. I'm trying maybe around Bratislava and stuff because they're generally pretty vulnerable down here. Anyway, yeah, the Baltics unified now, so that was really cool. I, I think I mentioned that before, but it, it, it location of the Baltics. Oh, oh, Livonian, Livonian unitary state is now in our faction instead of it being Latvia. That is good. That is good. I didn't have to do that in the peace deal. Nice. Things are going really well now. This is a big upgrade from our past game. Big upgrade. Yes, this was definitely better than that Sweden game. Anyway, what goes up must come down, but not yet. We can up our conscription. We can go to partial mob. I think we're gonna do that. So there we go, we got some civilian factories now. Six civilian factories and we're building another one. So things are going all right. But right now, we had to worry about capitulating Czechoslovakia, all right? We, don't, we have this issue at present. Let's just focus on that. So we're going to... We're literally, we're literally right outside Prague right now. So it's, it's fine. Maybe we can think about attacking Prague. Here we go. Actually, let's get to the next... The next... Next here as well. Yes. Oh, we got, we got extensive recruitment. Okay, we can get ranges now. Mountain unit, unit design cost. Ranges design cost. Initiative plus 1%. Okay, so... From what I gather, these ranges are just re uh, reconnaissance, but way better. And I think if we add them here to our normal divisions, they don't count towards the special forces cap either. Meaning, and it's only five. Oh yeah, because it's half. And I want to add them to here. So we're going to get engineers, and we're going to get rages. Boom. And these guys are good. So we're going to train. Oh, we just don't have the manpower. We're going to wait till we have the manpower. The uh, seeded some land. Okay, so if, yeah. The French are now the leader of the faction. Obviously, to get through France, we have to go through these guys, right? And, uh, we'll see how it goes. But it's a, obviously a huge loss. There it is. 89. What's their next capital? Carlsbad. Hmm. 
Biz boom. Looking good. All right, let me take Liberec. Or Liberec or some. We can't. We're struggling to take that. Okay, never mind then. I'd rather just finish up this encirclement then. So let's get all these guys off the delete order. Yeah, finish up this encirclement with this with the capital here. Oh, good. Hang on. Mountain artillery holding the line. Mountain artillery. We get a uh, upgrades breakthrough plus fifteen percent, soft attack plus twenty percent. Mountain artillery register specialized. Oh, that is, okay. Whoa. Wait, are they extra like extra support? No, they're not. Do they just come with the rangers? They might do. Hey, I think they do. This new special forces doctrine and the special forces rework is crazy. Like, I'm still wrapping my head around what's going on with these rangers and mountain artillery now. It's crazy stuff. Is that just... I'm so confused. Like, does the mountain artillery affect putting artillery on the division? Or does, is it a bonus on the rangers? Or is it just a bonus overall to all mountaineers? Like, I'm so... Like, someone let me know because I don't, I don't even know yet. <laughs> The Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. That's good. We still got Joseph Stalin here, so this is looking pretty good. Republican victory in the Spanish Civil War. We got the Common Turn, which is Spain and Mexico. <sighs> Mexico. I hate communist Mexico. They make world tension go to infinity because they declare war on all of the republics, all of the South uh, Central American countries. They declare, declare war on Britain for no reason, which drags them into every single war possible. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Um, obviously, we got the Axis. And then we got this uh, France faction. Look at this. The Axis. Oh, that's scary stuff right there, man. That's a, that's a frame right there. That's a frame if I've ever seen one. Finland rejects the Soviet demands. Okay. Is there going to be a winter war? And is that going to explode into an even bigger war? The answer is yes. The Republic of Honduras... Joined the Nordic Cooperation Alliance. Okay, things might be getting a bit weird now. Finland joined the Nordic... Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. We gotta, uh... Get an army up here pretty quickly. But I'm pretty sure the Soviets will take care of them anyway. But, oh, that's a mistake having it in Bosnia. We should have put it on the Finnish border. Okay. So they could push into us, but I doubt that's what they're thinking about. The priority is the Soviet Union for them, 100%. Wait, they're all with France now. So Spain's all with France. Denmark is called... Oh, oh, Romania. Romania declared war on Hungary. Okay, well, that's that's easy enough. They should be able to deal with that. They, they joined the Nordic Cooperation. That's fine. That's reasonable. Call to arms, yeah, I'll be at war with anyone you want. Yeah, so it's a bit getting a little bit confusing now, but as far as I'm concerned, we're at war with Finland, France, and Romania. That's all I care about. And soon enough, we'd be at war with Sweden, but the, we'll, we'll, I think I'm not sure how far along that is, but it's soon enough. We get, we get to be called something different, all right? Our ancestors were feared by all, raiding and conquering everywhere they could see and sail to. We must look back to the past and bring that spirit back. We could be the new Viking threat that keeps children up at night. There we go. Reviving the uh, Nordsveldet. Look at this man. He looks very old. There we are. Look at this cool cool little icon. It's like a ship hit with a way. That's sick, man. There we go. We've revived it. That is it. We are the... Uh, oh, he's facing forwards now. This guy is a new portrait of him. We are now the kingdom of Norgver or something. Oh! We're like a... Uh... Okay, that's an interesting color. The USSR just declared war on the Allies. There it is. They just declared war on Poland. Poland should be out for the count. Portugal joined the Allies. And Portugal's... Okay. Okay, okay. El Salvador joined the Allies. So, wait, 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 wait. So, the common turn is at war with the Nordic Republic, the Nordic Alliance, and the Allies. Yep. Right. We're the, 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 we're the uh, Axis, and we're at war with the Nordic places. The Allies are at war with just the Common Turn. The Nordics are at war with the Common Turn and us. And the Allies... Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm, I'm getting my head around this. I'm getting my head around How's Japan doing? What's Japan been up to this whole game? <laughs> Nothing. They've just been chilling. Nothing's happening over here. Nothing is happening. That's crazy. 
All right, so allies have finally entered the war. They've stepped foot. And the common turn has also entered the war too around the same time. And the common turn declared war on the allies. So now that's a thing. And the Nordic Defense Council. Anyway, the only thing that, the only two that weren't at war with each other was the allies and the Nordic Defense Council. Now, and us and the common turn. So we were technically allies with the common turn for now. And the Nordic Defense Council and the allies were allies for now as well. Why is, how's Poland fighting back, man? Romania and Poland are actually in Finland are pushing against the Soviets. Okie dokie. Advanced machine tools done. Construction. Um, at least Finland have fallen, you know. We could try and do something, but I'm not until we're not until we get supply. <laughs> Great uh, Ching declared war on. Great Ching. Who's that? Who declared war on Japan? Oh, these guys. Ah, they went of assertiveness. Anyway, we've been invited to the Nordic Defense Council, the same people that we're at war with. Correction, it is in fact Sweden thinking that they can take things into their own hands and subjugate us into, the, into whatever their Scandinavian defense pact they want to do. No. Oh, Iceland, you need to chill, man. You ain't that guy. There's no way there's fascist Iceland going around. What even is, like, the focus tree? We gotta play Iceland. It looks pretty generic, but at the same time, it's like an enhanced generic. They've actually gone this. They've gone Vinland and everything. Someone just joined. The oh, these guys joined. No, no. We're at war with the Allies now. Okay, at least that means Poland's gone. So that means we're gonna be at war with. There's no way we get naval supremacy. There's no way. How are we even gonna defend all of our borders? We need. We need naval invasion people. Right, we need Sweden to be guarded and we need to guard Finland. However, Finland might not be an issue soon. So now we found ourselves in a bit of a precarious situation, but don't you worry, your man, Colonel Cam, figured a way out of it, and out of this precarious situation, into a position where we were stronger, so it's all good. This should be good enough to rush them down and then defend the defend the coast. Right? That's, that's, that, that's, that's the aim. Rush down Sweden and defend the coast. That instead. This is bad. Hang on. This guy needs to hurry up. This guy actually needs to hurry up. This guy needs to hurry up. How did this happen, man? How did we get encircled by this? It's fine. Why are you guys there? Why in the world is there a defensive line that puts you there? Join the front! I actually retook Denmark. That's so dumb. We need to take the USA out as well. Like that's happening. Land. The USSR occupies Eastern Poland. There we are, and we've got... Well... Well, we've got some stuff to deal with, but apart from that, it's all good. All right, things are going well. Sweden might capitulate, you know, in the foreseeable future. Like, it might be actually foreseeable. Gosh, really? This is dumb. Like, that's actually dumb. Okay, how do we go about this? Yeah, so the common turn we're at war with now, but fortunately the AI wasn't too stupid. However, I think it would have been better in this situation if the AI was stupid because... It turns out that they declared war in Livona, or Livona declared war on them. I think, no, the Soviets declared war in Livona, but it was just them. Like, none of, no one else in our faction declared war on the Soviets because of the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact was lasting for too long. But if, a, if Germany had declared war now, I wonder if things could have gone differently. You'll see later in the video what happens. Netherlands caves to the British? What does that mean? Are they joining the Allies? Will we finally see the capitulation of France? Probably not. That's what we need. And then we go into Copenhagen and we retake Denmark. Because that will look... Okay, maybe, that, maybe that's not happening. There we go. They capitulated. Finally. Cool. Okay, let's deal with all these uh, other troops. But I want... These guys on the Finnish border now. And these guys... On this uh, Denmark border. Alright, we're going to deal with this. And yeah, things are going really well. I mean, this is peak axis right here. What you're looking at right now is like peak 
axis maybe a little bit in the future because of certain other countries i think we take but right now this is pretty high at a peak axis so enjoy this while it lasts it, it's only downhill from here the kingdom of the netherlands joins the allies there it is okay around the Maginot line finally might begin Nineteen forty-two. Oh, and did this year start with not a plot twist, but a bang? I'm telling you, like this. Well, I'm not happy that this happened, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Oh, the USSR breaks the molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Yep, yeah, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. Italy destroying the Common Turn. Peru joined the Axis. Okay, so now we've got the Communist Italy with this guy. This okay in the in the Common Turn. Oh, but that means Italy's going to be at war with everyone Russia is at war with, which includes France. So they're going to have a border here, and the their colonies as well are going to be uh, hard to deal with. Now, who are we? We Will we be at war with the Soviets? We don't have to be at war with the Soviets, right? Uh, Soviet Union is... Yep, they called the... Hang on. Yeah, see, we're not at war with the Soviets yet, so we can kind of chill, but... I can't defend that border. There's no way. They've got all the troops on that border. I can't defend it. And yeah, our troops were definitely tied down in like Copenhagen and uh, the other one, it was in uh, the, the Balkans, I think. We started pushing down there because, or Romania it was, that's it. Somewhere, somewhere there. Oh, good. Okay, Germany's in our faction. Greece is in our faction. They've joined, okay, cool. Um, what are they going to do then? Perfect, look at this man. He's got like a little hat on and everything. Uh, they're going to be at war with this whole area here. Meaning, can they just push out straight away? They can. Germany, uh, Japan has joined. Japan has joined against the Soviets. A oh, brilliant and and the uh, allies. Okay, cool. The Empire of Japan literally joins the Axis, like our whole faction. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Here we go. Soviet Union, you are done for. All right, we just I just want to capitulate France though. That's like my main concern. Now there was a couple of options that we had here. I wanted to get to France, but the Allies and the Nordic Defense Council were way too strong in the West there. So I looked to the East. And now that Japan had just joined, I think attacking the Soviet Union was perfect, the perfect idea. But before I wanted to do that, I wanted to clear the Balkans, especially with Greece on our side now. That should easily be done. Romania, Bulgaria, and all of the Balkan Defense League gone, hopefully. Five, so Operation 25, right? Please don't. Wait, is it? Okay, here we go. Serbia. Yeah, okay, we should be all right. There we go. We should be at war with not the Soviets. Good. Okay, we're all with these guys. Let's move in. Oh, whatever, whatever. Okay, whatever that was then. It wasn't Slovenia. <laughs> it was Crayover or something. Perfect. Alright, beautiful encirclement right there. Alright, now we can get on this line. And we can go into uh, the rest. But if Germany capitulates, we're so screwed. Yeah, Germany's not looking uh, too good anymore. So too good anymore. Sorry. So we got to rush down the Balkans as quickly as possible in order for the troops to be freed up, so they can either solidify that front or just rush down the Soviet Union. Either one, I don't really care. Look at that. They're already liberating Denmark. Jeez, man. Come on, come on. Pin them and take Belgrade. Come on. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. How do we capitulate Serbia? They're so close. They're ninety. China joined the Balkan Defense League. Don't be. Come on, we've almost capitulated the major. Don't be a major. China, don't be a major. Please, I swear to God. I swear on my life if you make China a major. There will be hell to pay. I'm so close to capitulating them. Okay, there we go. That should be the capitulation of Yugoslavia after I've decided what I want to research. Better tanks. Yes, that's actually a good idea. All right, there we go. There we go. Kingdom of Serbia's capitulated. Now we can finally get into the uh, first peace conference. Now, the only countries that have any war score whatsoever are me with the second most, Germany with the most, Japan with a little bit. I don't think I should get anything here, though. And then Greece. And obviously, Greece deserve like Macedonia, right? So we'll start with Greece. Greece, because they're fascists, can get Macedonia. And that's about it. Japan gets nothing. Germany gets probably the majority of all this. I do want to give something to Hungary, though, because Hungary did have, you know, it might as well. Like, they get that. That makes sense, right? They get, yeah, these two. Uh, perfect. Oh, Japan, of course, gets China. That's actually really good that they joined. 
Because now... Now, um... Yeah, Japan gets China. Okay, focus. What am I doing? I'm distracted. I need to sneeze. That's the problem. Alright. Germany, Germany, Germany. Germany, 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 Germany. Germany, Germany, Germany. Submit demands. Good. Now, Empire of Japan. All of China. Perfect. Alright. Confirm and exit. That's all we need. Wait. Any navies? Yeah, but that's like kind of useless. We'll take the navies, I suppose. Cool. Confirm and exit. There we are. So there we go. Japan just took all of China. That's brilliant. I might tag over and release China as like a puppet from Japan. Can I do that? Oh, but is that what they would do? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let's clean up all these divisions here. How do we only have one Mountaineer? Where do all our Mountaineers go? Where have they been going? Like, they just disappear. How? Yeah, man, to this day, I still don't even know. They've fully just wandered off. Like, we haven't been getting encircled or anything, so I don't know where they went. They just abandoned the post. They're missing in action, right? I think that's what the term's called. Missing in action. Yep, that's the Mountaineers for me. Encircled now. No way, man. That's so stupid. Yeah, goodbye divisions, I suppose. That's really annoying. This is really something. Oh, encirclement from Japan. We love to see that. Deary me. That means Hungary will capitulate, and then I'm going to be alone here. If Germany and Hungary capitulate, I'm alone. Like, that's it. So we would have to just def sit tight and defend our borders, our coastline, we'd have to defend everything. And I don't even know how I would get out. How would I get these troops out? That's the thing. Okay, where are these guys going? No, 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 you're not doing that. You are going to go to here, and then you're going to go across the port. We have so much convoys, what do you mean? Don't worry about me just getting angry at troops going the wrong places. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's fine. Soviet Union? There's no way, right? We take out the Soviet Union, then we go back west. Is that an option? Is that an option? I remain to be... I, I, I'm unsure. Hungary proclaims greater Hungary. Good for Hungary, man. Do they get cores and stuff now? Are they stronger? That'd be great. It's too hard for Japan on this side. Can we hold out? Can the Axis survive? We're at war against the entire world in 1942. Maybe the year where Germany strikes back against the Soviets and then against the uh, Western powers. Uh, how do you say how do you say G and R together in you know whatever language Norwegian? But is it the Kingdom of Norgvergur? <laughs> I, no, that was wrong. Norgver. Norgver. Norveg. Norgverger. Something like that. Surely that's right, guys. Let me know if that was the correct pronunciation in the comments. If it wasn't, tell me what it is in the comments, alright? Because I got no idea, alright? Anyway, Germany seems to be doing doing some holding. Alright, we're holding Germany. Now we could go with the Soviets and maybe push, but then we'd have, to, we'd have to deal with Finland as well. And I'd rather them fight between each other. Look at this. They're holding it. They're holding the line, man. Alright, we're coming down here. Look, we're already here. Oh, no, we can't actually. Uh, everyone go to the port. Everyone go to the port. Get the supply. Maybe. Actually, do we even get supply here? Because, no, we wouldn't. Because how, why would we get supply there? No. Stop going to the port. Just defend that. Alright, we're going to go this way. All, that, all these Romanian divisions will no longer exist, and I'll be a happy man. Uh, eventually. Come on, can you guys, like, pin him or something? Please? Of course not. Alright, you also come down here. Hurry up. There it is. We've taken it. That's it for Romania. Good. All of their troops have disappeared. Alright, let's get these and let's get these divisions now. Bulgaria capitulated. There it is. And all of these French divisions have disappeared. That's it. The whole southern, f southern front is gone. It's dealt with. Good. Alright, so now. Oh, oops. We're at war with Finland. we got to deal with this, man. And Britain? There's no way we could naval invade them. 
they just got insane naval supremacy. We could do Denmark though. Greece just declared war on Turkey. Yep, just as we cleared up that southern front, Greece declares war on Turkey. Can you believe it? It's so annoying, man. Like, what? Oh my god. All the flux of iron ore. Finland has been leaning on us regarding our iron ore production. They can. They're concerned with the rising global tensions. What? I mean, what do you mean rising? And see themselves most capable military nation in the Nordics. Do they now? Do they now? Okay, we'll see about that. As such, they have requested control of resource-rich northern states, both so that they may protect them, but also... Okay, so... Finland want to control my northern states. I'm defending the territories. That's unfortunate, Finland. I mean, we're already at war with them, so... And now it was time to finally support Germany, Livona, Japan, Hungary, all in their conquest against the Soviet Union, and push them back and make them diversify even more troops to our border. So hopefully that they would fall. War against the Soviets, right? That's what we're doing? I think that's what we're doing. Call to arms, except, there we go, we are officially at war with the Soviet Union, meaning that we can walk into their territory. I'm gonna spread out all of my army down here. Support. More than 70%, okay. We can do that, we can do that. Uh, where can we do it? Uh, where's the war support? Exert heroism, that'll do. But that's for casualties. Yes, I needed more war support to desperately increase manpower. We've been on like zero manpower this whole game. I don't know how you're supposed to survive. Um, don't worry, we get manpower eventually and I do it through a thing in the future. You'll see, because I think it just makes it fairer, the thing I did. It, it, it's justified, okay, it's justified. And the fall of Kiev. Yes, the Soviet Union is actually going to fall. They're the only... Oh, they, Italy are a major as well. That's bad. But once we deal with the Soviet Union, I mean, all these troops are free. Right, so... Ten war support. Yes. Okay, we're sent an attaché. That gives us 77%. Now, once we hit 150, we can go to all adults serve. Alright, we're desperate, okay? We're very desperate. I was very conflicted in whether to... I was in two minds about things. I was either focused on taking out the Soviet Union and freeing up all those German and Hungarian troops and J Japanese troops, or I was considering focusing on Denmark, trying to take that back so that I'd get be able to do Kamar Union and get a bunch, like, a bunch more manpower because we get all of Sweden and Denmark. So I was in two minds, and I wasn't really sure, but I decided to do both, and it, it did not work. Doing both was a bad idea. See, that should be our main priority, taking on Denmark, right? But, I mean, have you, like, there's this glitch you can do, you can zoom in out enough, and you can kind of see how many troops they got on the border. But they've got, like, infinite dudes just covering this whole thing. Boom, 10,000 guns for Germany. All right, we need to fuel their war, we need to keep, keep them fighting. Is that artillery? I don't know, I'll give you a... All of them, though. Oh, there you go, Germany. Have some stuff. With our combined industry of Norway and Sweden, we were able to fuel a lot of the uh, the efforts of Livona and Germany. We just gave them so many guns. I think I gave them, like, 60,000 guns in total over both of them. I think it was, like, 40,000 to Germany and 20,000 to Livona because I, I, I had way too much infantry equipment, all right? I had a lot of it, so I just gave it all to them because they needed it more than I did. I had no manpower. They had plenty of manpower and no equipment, so it just made sense. Test in the waters. The waters are being the waters are being tested. I'm liking the okay. We just oh the waters are great. The waters are beautiful. The waters are beautiful. What am I talking about when I'm testing the water? What, this is a naval invasion. We're getting out of the water. We're going from water to land. What am I? Where did I get this testing the water? There we are. When we say control, when it says control of Danish states, do we need? No, mainland, okay, good. I was gonna say, if we need Greenland and Iceland, that's uh, that's not happening. That's a straight console command, you know? Like, uh, I don't wanna attack there. Hey, this is looking good. If we just get our troops here. Everything was going really well, and everything would keep going well, I'm sure. Nothing would go wrong at all. You know, I was surprised how well it was going, so, you know, it's good. We got, we got the port. Oh my gosh. Go there, that makes things interesting. Then we come in behind, it's gonna be, Oh! How did that guy get there?
on God, how did that guy get there? Was it like a power drop? Because I don't have naval supremacy. I uh, no idea what what happened there, but uh, we it was easy, so it's not not a problem. Um, oh, we can go to scraping the barrel. Is that the move? We have the war support. Loose construction, speed factory output, training time, dock. I don't care about any of that. We're going to scrape the barrel. All right, we already got enough stuff. All right, we're doing what we, we got enough stuff. We can do a pincer movement here and circle these guys. Look, it's all coming together, man. It's all coming together. Pincer movement. Come on. Yes. Stop them immediately. Okay. What if they do? What if they go there? Someone retreat back there. Someone retreat back there. They went 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 there. Oh no! Oh my god, the worst thing just happened. Come on, we can break out of that. Oh, the worst thing just happened. The turn of events is crazy. The the turn of the turning of the tables is absolutely insane. All right. Okay. You would not believe how mad I was for the rest of this game that that happened. I was devastated. I was yelling. I was screaming at my computer. This was the most, this was the worst thing that could have ever happened. This was the this was a tragedy. This was the Stalingrad of Star Scandinavia. Literally, the Stalingrad of Scandinavia. I was so fuming at this man. How did that even happen? I how did it happen on the left side? As oh my, why am I getting mad again? Okay, just focus and show them the clip. That is a whole entire... This is bad. I just got... Outmaneuvered. By the vanilla AI. Oh my god, I just want to rewind time. I would like to rewind time. Alright, we have some new divisions. Get over here. Oh, it was going to be so good. Dude, they're all dead. And now we're losing. And these guys, for some reason, aren't going to go there. Why not? Why not? Oh, dude, no. That, it's so over now. How am I supposed to even recover from the manpower deficit? How am I even, how am I even supposed to recover from that? You're kidding. That happened. It happened, man. Oh, my gosh. I'm proper angry. And yep, there goes our chance for the Kalmar Union and manpower. So, you know, I, I do it later anyway. You'll see. Um, but not legally. Well, just find out. Because we would have called all of Sweden and all of Denmark. And that would have been a bunch of manpower. We'd be like fully in this. But I screwed it up, man. I'm thinking of fully just, re fully just restarting. Like, I'm genuinely thinking I just like redo the whole of 1943. It's as if there was some mystical change in the winds that day, as our loss in Denmark began the downfall of the Eastern Front. Somehow they started pushing us back. As soon as that happened, I don't know why, it was, we were, I don't know, it's crazy stuff, man. This game, it's, no one knows what's going on. Soviets. Oh, it's not happening. They're pushing us back. They're pushing us back. Okay, look, this was bad. All right, and I needed to do something, something to get us out of this, and I may have just done a few, pressed a few buttons on the keyboard, and may have just called Sweden, just get get the manpower, okay, just call Sweden, that's all we need, and Denmark too, maybe a little bit account, we're gonna do this, okay, all right, just to get the manpower, that's all we need, so boop, okay, there we go, and then we're gonna go, decision, boom, okay, it's disabled again, okay, look, we're the Scandinavian Reich, all right, this is what happens. Now we got manpower, and everything is better. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of manpower. Request garrison support. Okay, they've got dudes in my mans, but that's fine. We got a good insert. We had a half decent encirclement. Oh, look at this. Tanks and armor. That's good. Finally, a blessing from God. A last ditch effort of hope had been delivered to us very quickly. Uh, the, the Nordic Defense Council and the Allies were no longer working together as uh, one of them, Denmark, declared war on someone, and but it was someone in the Allies. So, yeah, they were at war now. So we had the Britain invasion of France, and it led to, like, a cool peace deal, and it was very good. Denmark just declared war on the Nordic Defense Council. 
Nordic Cooperation Alliance. Nordic Cooperation Alliance. Who's in the Nordic Defense Council? Oh! Does that be Sweden? Oh! Nordic Cooperation Alliance is now going to be at war with the Allies. I was just talking about how they're not at war. But okay, they're going to be at war now. The Allies and these guys. I was getting a bit confused by the names there. Nordic Defense Council, Nordic Cooperation Alliance, Nordic something, Nordic this, Nordic... I don't, I don't know, man. I Just leave me alone. If France capitulates, that's a peace deal. Which is out outrageous. Invaded. Invaded France. Who is it? Britain. Alright. Think front, because it's just barren wasteland. The fall of Paris. Is that the capitulation of France? It is, hey? It is. Okay, so the only major for the Nordic Corporation Alliance is Denmark. Now, had this happened sooner, it would have been better, but... Oh, the Socialist France is around in the common turn. Um, this is just a mess. All right, Germany, for some reason, controls a bunch of a bunch of that. We're going into Copenhagen right now. No way, we just crossed the border into Copenhagen. Oh, Greece! Greece! They're actually going crazy. All right, Denmark are 100%. Because... Who invaded? Wait, who... Oh, because the Netherlands are pushed up into them. All right, that's it for Denmark. Is that a peace deal? We got a peace deal! Oh! Okay, wow. Wow, we what do we do here? Okay, so let's start with the lowest amount of points we got. Uh, all of these would be zero, yeah. Lowest amount of points is Hungary, right? What are we, what are we gonna do with Hungary? Southern Slovakia, Carpanian Rutha, right? All of this garbage. Um, that's definitely what they get. Maybe I'm thinking Slovakia. However, we could release that as a German puppet state, right? Is that something we can do? God, I don't know. See, that's the problem. I want to be able to release, uh, like, imagine, like, I want to do this. I, I, I give this to Germany, and then I want to, I annex them, and then we do, like, release Slovakia as a puppet state. I don't know. We'll give it to Hungary. We, I think, because I don't want to risk it. We're going to give that to Hungary. All right, that's everything Hungary gets. Look at him. Greater Hungary, except this bit here, but very good. <laughs> Greater Hungary. Okay, now we have the United Kingdom. Right, oh, then there's also Communist France. i got to work my way into the mix with Communist France, because they obviously should get their mainland, right? But obviously it wouldn't be all of the mainland, because these guys are all of the common turn. How would we go about this? And is there anything else, like, in the world, like, any other random places I need to know about? Is it just, just okay, good. Oh, it's like Estonia and all that. Okay. So, in terms of the fr French situation, we're going to have to give Socialist France, you know, some of their land back. But we'll give them, like, a protectorate, like, north here, and then Britain can have the rest. Like, they can have this main bit of France. Right, I'm thinking we give Alsace Lorraine to Germany, though. Yeah. So they can have this bit of France. That's the Soviet France. Then if we get, uh, what's the next highest? We did a Hungary, United Kingdom gets all this. Now they get this bit of this bit of France. Maybe we get that to Italy. Yeah, we give that to Italy. All right, perfect. The United Kingdom, France there. Hang on. Yeah, we'll do that. Perfect. Soviet Union, they can get that 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 and then Romania right we give them Romania and Bulgaria right they did a lot of stuff they have a lot of points so we'll actually give them Romania and Bulgaria sounds a bit weird but it's fine okay Germany and then me okay we're gonna go to me for actually no we're doing Germany Germany gets Alsace Lorraine oh what about Italy as well I gotta give stuff to Italy uh, Germany gets Czech Republic. That's it. Oh, they get a Memel. And you know what? We'll give them Lithuania. They can have Lithuania. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Should, that should have gone to Livona. Whatever. Livona gets... See, this is the problem. Maybe they'll return it. Alright, Livona gets that. Cool. And then, where's Italy? I should have given Greece something, hey. 
That's a good point. Why is... Oh, there's all the French colonies. Right. Italy. Take Savoy and this bit. And that. Who should get... Who should get the French colonies? Okay, Italy, maybe Tunisia. And then Britain literally gets the rest. Like, <laughs> they could just get the rest. Right? Like, I don't imagine... And Turkey. Are they included in the war here? Can Turkey get, like, Hattay or something? Are they included? Turkey, Turkey, Turkey. I don't think so. Unless I've, I haven't scrolled past them, right? Oh, and then there's also all of this. Like, who gets this? Brazil? No. I'm just give it all to. I'm just gonna give it all to um Britain, all the French colonies. That just. I think that would just make sense. Wait, is that me? I'm selecting. I want to go Britain. Select all. Can I do that? Okay, good. Now, uh, Germany. What else do they get? Oh, Luxembourg. They get Luxembourg. Cool. Me. Denmark. Because I get cores. Right? Perfect. Uh, Norway, obviously. Our, liter our literal own country, okay? Finland we get. Right, this is our... It's Nordic stuff. It's ours. Um, obviously we own Sweden already, we get that bit of land here, thinking that's good, and then it's just Honduras. You know what, uh, Britain, you can have it. Alright, there we go. And let me just take the navies of the entire world. Thank you. There it is. There's the feast deal. Alright, so what do we do? A quick recap. We took all of Finland. Let's uh, immediately move this front line all the way down. We took all of Finland. I gave Lithuania to these guys, but I probably should have given them to Livona. Alright, but it's fine. Livonia gets that. Uh, oh, Denmark is, a, is an issue. See, we still have the Scandinavian Reich issue. This was a mess, okay? Just, it's too hard to explain. Go and watch the peace conference if you skipped it, because this one was too hard to explain. Just skim through it. Or if you don't really care, don't watch it. Um, I'm not going to stop you not watching it. Or I'm gonna, not going to make you watch it or whatever. So do whatever you want. Okay, I had a, I had a plan. This was actually my last ditch effort. Like, for real, my last ditch effort. It, the, everything was relying on this. I was going to invade the United Kingdom. Right? I had the navy for it because I took it from France. And if I could knock out the United Kingdom, all that would be left would be the USA... And the Netherlands, Netherlands and the Allies. And, you know, the USS, USA is all the way over there and the Netherlands isn't particularly strong. So I was hoping things would go well. Oh, they're actually naval invading. Whatever. And we can't go near them. Wait. Maybe we can. Maybe we can go near them. Look at the size of our navy right now. A capitulation of Britain would be huge. Right, they do have America, but America's on the other side of the world. And the Netherlands isn't big. They're not an issue. Oh, I have a brilliant idea. Let's use a mountaineer. No, they're not good enough. Let's train 10 of these guys. And we do a special operation with these guys, right? They're going to invade from uh, whatever this place is called through the North Sea into the Northern England. I also spent some time complaining about Canada for some reason. Um, have a look. Something to do. I don't know. What, what was I on about with Canada? I don't know. They're literally fascist. How is it that they're still going to be... Oh, because they're a... Yeah, they're a Dominion. But like... Okay, guys. I'm going to ask you a question. If these guys were fascist and independent and in the Allies at war with my fascist... My fascist uh, a uh, alliance, would you guys... Be annoyed if I tagged over to Canada, left the Allies, and joined my faction. Just because it would be more realistic. Would that be a thing? Or would that be like a no-go? The fall of Berlin. That's a bit late, but okay. What? Even Hungary's a major now. Livonia's a major. It's all majors. Agent's going. We've just landed. Oh my gosh. We actually just landed this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're in. Right, let's quickly just clean up all of the north. So we just get to scab and flow so they can't get any troops in. Let me just quickly clean it up. 
Oh my gosh, Germany is so screwed. Dude, we're gonna be alone. Did you guys see that dual encirclement I just pulled off for those two? Like those two on each side? It was like a double barrel shotgun encirclement. That's what that's what I'm calling that from now on. Yep, Sheffield is ours. Let's encircle Liverpool, then we'll take Liverpool. Sheffield is ours. And by the end of 1944, things were looking really good. I mean, look at this, Britain's about to capitulate. We literally just had to take London and they would fall, okay? And I promise you, that's gonna be, it's gonna be good, okay? So everything's great, capitulate Britain. I know Germany's gonna capitulate soon, but that kind of like balances everything out because Germany capitulates and then Britain. So it's a, it's, a, it's a balancing thing. Anyway, what am I talking about? Let's move on to Try and go down and just beeline to London. All right, if we get London, I think they capitulate because London is a very big city. All right, they're gonna hopefully capitulate. All right, we're gonna wait. We've got a lot of things to look at. What's this? Ah, okay. We, we lost the battle of the North Sea. All right, no one cares. Uh, let's just chuck everything. Oh, wow, we have a lot. Maybe chuck them on other stuff as well. That looks good. Perfect. A lot of guns, though. We need more guns. Leicester's open. Oh, oh no, I'm getting flashbacks from Denmark. I'm getting flashbacks from Denmark. Come on, we gotta take it back. Oh no, man, I'm actually getting flashbacks from Denmark. I'm not even kidding. Dude, I'm getting like PTSD from Denmark. I swear to God, literally <laughs> PTSD and it's happening again. No, how did they push this far? Hold it, there's a river, we hold the river. That's got to be a win. Like, retake burning it, right? Dude, this is so back and forth. Now it's back completely. We can't take retake Birmingham. Why are they going around the world, man? This is so, like, micromanaging, man. Oh, dude, if we can get Britain. And look, the oh, they're still all with the common turn. That's the thing, man. Dude, why are the Comintern actually pushing us back here? That's not what we're looking for. We're not looking to be pushed back, man. Okay, you know what? Abandon, like, all of Finland. Finland, don't need it. We don't even have cores on it, so we're abandoning all that. What now? Southern Sweden. Where's Southern? Okay, so they're invading this here. Oh, they're invading here now. Okay, good. We got our, we got our defensive guys so we'll chuck them here of course it's britain he was oh my god oh my god we're so screwed what are these guys doing why are they all the way out they're seven years from the action dude do i need to take an army out of britain can i deploy these guys when are they oh my god i can't survive I mean, naval invaded left, right, and center. I can't do this. Oh god, I hate this. I hate naval invasions. I hate them. And just like that, my gamble did not pay off. I thought I could quickly capitulate Britain with like most of my army in the UK and just capitulate them and then take them back over to the coast and defend my country, but no, did not work. I got naval invaded before I could capitulate them, and uh, things are not looking good at all. Japan still exists. They were against everyone in their land. Desperate Steiner's counterattack. Scandinavian version. Yep, there it is. Oh. Where are our divisions? Oh, all, the, all of the divisions that didn't capitulate are in Northern England. Okay, so we technically fight on, but we did just capitulate. And Japan, they're probably not going to capitulate anytime soon. And unfortunately, that would be the end of the Axis. We were the second alliance to capitulate. First, it was the Nordic Defense uh, Cooperation or Cooperation Alliance, whatever that was. And the second was us. But this would not be the end of this video, okay? I'm going to add a special segment to this video that I'm going to start doing in the future where I wait until the war is completely over, over, and I showcase the aftermath of the war, as you could say. You know, just like a little aftermath of the war little thing. Like, you'll see. After the capitulation of the Scandinavian Reich, 
the Comintern found itself in a situation where Japan, still part of the Axis and the only country in the Axis pushing it, pushing it from its east and the Allies pushing from the west, eventually the capitulation of the Comintern would result. The fighting quickly continued with Japan being the last remaining enemy of the Allies. And Japan was no match for the might of Britain, America, and all the countries that now formed the Allies. Japan had was forced to capitulate, and the end would be here. A new world order. Maybe for the better, maybe for the worse, who knows. But for now, the Allies were victorious. For the winning side, the United Kingdom granted Scotland independence for their bravery for fighting as resistance against the Norwegian forces. When Britain was close to capitulation, they rose up and ensured that it was as hard as possible for them to keep control of their territory. And for that, they gained their own independent state. In Eurasia, the dissolving of the Soviet Union was a little more complicated. The lands of Central Asia were given to their own republics like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. Crimea, Ukraine and Belarus were all released as independent democratic governments and what was once controlled by Japan, the East Siberian Republic, was now released as its own independent state. Japan had become a democratic supervised state of Britain and so had Korea, with the Republic of China now still being divided by the communists and the war would still rage on between them. And the country of Norway, now humiliated as a puppet of Britain, and the people probably happier than they were living under the Scandinavian Reich regime, and also the Nordic Defence Council being given back to Swedish lands. Germany also suffered a similar fate, with the majority of the country still being democratic now, except for Portugal, Canada, and Poland. The world would finally continue to peace, right? Maybe, well, not for China, because they're still fighting the communists and, uh, well, democratic not the nationalists now. And I don't know what's going to happen with Canada, right? They're still fascists, so that's still, a, that's still a thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. A uh, bit of a long one, so I hope, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know, you can watch them. What am I talking about? Just shout out to my Patreons, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.